Hello everybody, Catboy Vine here to do another Marvel Universe review. Or just Marvel review. This time I'll be doing a review of... Wait for it... Union Jack. Some of you are probably wondering, Union Jack? Is he supposed to be a Captain America version of but for England? No. There, there's, there's another guy called Captain Britain who's supposed to be that. But Union Jack is British. He's a British superhero, pretty much. Well, this little back blurb thing better will probably give you better details than I can. I don't really know much about the character. All I really know is that he comes from a comic book I read once. Okay, let's read what this says. And you can look at this picture. <clears throat> His strength and reflexes enhanced by an ancient mystic power of the pen dragon. I don't know what that is. Union Jack serves England and her people through his primary purpose is to defend his homeland from the ravages of the undead vampires are in short supply these days. I wonder why. How many, how many vampire groups are there in England? Hunting groups in England anyway. I know there's Helsing. Maybe that's why there's not too many vampires in England. Is Helsing's there. <clears throat> hey, I'm referencing something else. So awesome. Now let's see, where was I? He works mostly alongside side agents from MI5. Don't know what that is. And MI13. Defending the British Isles against all those who mean... For me, who mean them harm. First off, I have no idea what MI5 and MI13 do, per se. I'm guessing they're secret agencies, like MI6. I know what MI6 is. I don't know what MI5 and MI13 do. I'm just guessing anything with MI and then random number is some British agency. I guess... Anyway, here's the figure. This figure is kind of similar to me. Oh yeah, it's the, it's the same figure as the, let's see, Hydra agent I showed you last, in my first review. Same body. Just different paint style. And also different belt and like these little elastic things. But anyway, the articulation is the same. Head can turn 360, move up and down. Waist can turn 360. Arms can go about uh, this high. Bend. Bend in and out. This arm thing that I can't remember what it's called can turn 360. Elbows can bend in and out. And hands can turn 360. Legs can move about this far, move back in, move about this far up, bend at the elbow at two points, feet can pivot up and down, and turn 360. I'm going to show accessories he comes with is a revolver pistol and a knife. Which fit in on his belt. Which I kinda like, but it does kinda get in the way. For me it does anyway. Anyway. Let's go to the secret top secret file thing. He's got a superhuman registration act card. A little picture in the back. Something I don't get about this has the American flag on it. This character's name's Union Jack. I don't get that. Anyway, let's let's go through it. 
Real name, Joseph Chapman. Codename, Union Jack. Hair, brown. Eyes, brown. Height, 6 feet. Weight, 195 pounds. Wait, what is the British equivalent? Sex, male. Powers, superhuman strength, speed, expert marksman, hand-to-hand -hand combat combatant, highly proficient in explosives and weaponry. Okay. Uh, let's see. A note to S.H.I.E.L.D. from New York. Um, let's see. This letter is from Marvin Raven. I don't know who that is. To S.H.I.E.L.D. Director. Okay. Subject, Joseph Chapman. <clears throat> Sir, I, I know you don't think much of Union Jack. But I do believe you'll, you'll reconsider once you review the files in more depth. He has proven an efficient leader, even of superhumans far more powerful than himself. And the people of England look to him for inspiration almost as much as they do Captain Britain. He could be a significant threat to your operations in Europe. What? However, the MI-13 agent known as Spitfire could be used as leverage against him. They've got history, and she's a vampire. Well, that's bluntly worded weird. We could easily use her and set up Union Jack and Blade against one another, thereby removing both of them from play. Signed, Marvin Raven, MI-13. And, oh yeah, we also get this little thing. Useless, by the way. Um... Okay, why would an MI-13 agent want to get rid of Union Jack? Why does this thing picture um, S.H.I.E.L.D. as the bad guys? I don't get that. Anyway, that's it for this review, really. Uh, I like the figure. Um, it's out of print, so you gotta buy off eBay. You can find it in the store. I say you're lucky. Pick this guy up. I like Union Jack. Seems like a nice guy. I'm Catboy Van, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.